So the other day for our homeschool family was the first day of school. And as we're done reading our Bibles in the morning, we usually give out assignments as to, okay, what are your chores? What are you doing? And since it was the first day of school, things were different. Mom was assigning, um, make sure you do this in your X book, do this in your Y book, and then it came to the math book. And Grace, our daughter Grace, who is graduated, she is an old lady now, she's graduated, she was standing there, and I thought being a funny, silly dad, I would say, all right, Grace, uh, don't forget to, to start your quadratic equations in your biological physics and um, you know what, forget that. Let's just do astrophysics and quantum mechanic math. And she goes, and then I thought, well, that's odd. And I kept going. And then I started dishing out m more <laughs> funny stuff here and there. And she's actually trying to be serious. And shocking. And it, that's shocking, honestly. And He's then it comes. jokes. And then and I'm being it, serious. And then it, and then it, and I'm trying to stay on track, baby. And then it comes back around and I have another gap. Weird. Those don't happen very often. Then I ask her, well, okay, so you better get started on your yada yada math, like some big, huge, crazy math, like calculus would embarrass Stephen Hawking math. <laughs> um, and she goes, and I thought, well, that's well, odd. And I kind of just stored away in my brain and I, and I, 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 I thought about it all the day. And then I called Krista up to my office because I was working on stuff. And I said, honey, I think that Grace wants to do math. I think she wants to get re-engaged in schooling. I think she's tired of sitting around. Not that she sits around, but she, you know, she doesn't have a lot of things to do. She's got a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's literally waiting mm -hmm. for surgeries. Mm -hmm. She's been waiting for her life to get started since she was 10. Yeah. And so I talked to Krista and said, I think uh, Grace really wants to get back in schooling. Mm -hmm. And so we called her up and I said, all right, Grace, are you ready to uh, bust out some Einstein equations and prove the theory of relativity wrong? And she goes, but not hmm, like, no, hmm, like I could definitely engage. Mm -hmm. So we started talking to her and she wants to keep studying. Keep learning. She wants to keep going. And this is the thing that has been sticking in my brain that I think can help a lot of you out there because the world's crazy right now. Duh. No, it's not. Duh. Duh perfectly normal and so many of you are waiting to find out what's gonna happen oh my gosh november's coming no matter which side you pick there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of fear and there are tons of people online who are making lots and lots of money by scaring you oh yeah we're not going to do that what i will do is say this moment with grace when we talked with her and she said yeah i want to keep going i want to learn and she made me realize she's tired of waiting around mm -hmm. no more waiting it she made me she shouldn't wait around for somebody else to do it for her she's going to learn for herself well it made me think about you and us mm -hmm. how many of us just sit around and we're going what's next instead of actually living your lives exactly exactly so today the question is what are you going to do with the time you have mm -hmm. most people don't realize time is the most valuable thing you have mm -hmm. yep if you only had a few weeks and then you knew it was over would you be sitting around in front of a tv staring at it would you or a be a computer yeah would you be griping for better wages? Time is the most valuable thing you have. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, to, to hear something. And then Krista, we, we'll, she didn't know I was going to bring this topic no, up. No, I had no idea. 
the creator of all things, oops, knock my hat, the creator of all things, the universe, everything you see, stars, the oceans, fish, life, babies, love, made you. Mm -hmm. He knows you. He didn't make a mistake. And he's gifted you specifically for this specific time in history to do things that he's pre-created for you to do in advance and enabled you with the ability to do them. But we're sitting around and waiting for the most part. What are you going to do with your time? Are you created to just be a bump on a log? My mom used to say that. What are you doing? I think all our moms used to say that. A bump on a log? You a bump on a log? Quit sitting around like a bump on a log. Yeah. Or are you going to get in the game? Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Nobody's saying, hey, well, you got to go and be Billy Graham now. No, there was only one Billy Graham and you're not it. Right. He's not here anymore. So what are you going to do with the time you have? You are specifically gifted with abilities that I don't have. Krista doesn't have. And I'm gifted with abilities that he doesn't have. Ain't that the truth? We are all uniquely made. You're specifically able to do the tasks that God wants you to do. Stop pushing back. Right. And do them. Get in the game. Yeah. So... Do you want to get into quadratic, uh, astrological, mathematical, philosophical equations? Sure, there's some people that are into that. I'm not. The question, <laughs> the question today, ladies and gents, is what are you going to do with the remainder of breaths and heartbeats you have? Mm -hmm. You could just live in anxiety and be angry with the situation that you may be in. And I know there's a lot of different situations out there. Or, like Grace, who wasn't dealt the same hand that I was, she could go, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. I mean, she's the daredevil of the group. She really is. Honestly, you give her a race car, she's be flying down the road. She's She's the one that'll jump into whatever situation it is. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a plane ride or... Bodyboarding at <laughs> a water park. Like the the super jet water <laughs> thing. She was there doing she it. She was there doing it and was happy to do it. She was having a blast. They made her take her life preserver off. Yeah, they did. Which and I can understand. Fine. I can understand because it's... It's in the way, and it's not shallow. She's not going to drown there. So You have today. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is a guarantee. Yeah. Nope. What are you going to do with the most valuable asset you have? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's so it. hopefully you'll come and visit us at our Bible devotion. Yes. If, if this wasn't a good enough one. Yeah. Hopefully it was. There was a yeah. bug on her. Oh, it's fine. Um, they won't eat much. Uh, <laughs> go to YouTube uh, Everyday Outreach and uh, 8.30 a.m. Central, Monday through Thursday. And he does this. Every morning, he will take a piece of scripture, a piece, a section of scripture, and unpack it and just talk about it. And we chat live. No denomination stuff, just what's in the word. So. That and there is a dot com. Yep. You can go and download music for free. There's no charge, no strings attached. We don't do any of that. It's there's scripture to music. Yep. Yep. So there it is, mom. There it is, dad. Take it out. All right. You guys have a blessed and amazing day.